Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes for all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a new moon energy reading for June 6th. Now this new moon is in the sign of Gemini. And with this new moon, it's offering us a blank slate to our goals, to our dreams, to our desires. So I ask you and I challenge you to think about what is it that you would like to create in this next season, in this next phase of your life? If money wasn't an object, meaning if you didn't need money, what would you do with your time? So let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for this upcoming new moon. We're going to see what's going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? What do they need to see for this upcoming new moon? Please and thank you. The death of the king of staffs, the star energy. So this is like healing from a very intense connection. But this connection has, there's been a separation. The death energy for some of you, this is like an ending of this relationship. I do feel like you are healing, trying to find a balance trying to get back to yourself. It's like feeling as if things aren't the same or your perspective has definitely been changed through this relationship. Now, why is this coming out? You may have felt like you've already healed, you've already completed the healing process when it comes to the situation. But I honestly feel here in the upcoming weeks of June, you are going to be triggered into having an intense memory or being in this energy of not wanting to repeat that same cycle. A lot of times when we are triggered into having memories from a past connection, uh, there's a purpose, there's a reason, and a lot of times it'll be a test to see if we're ready to move into a new phase. So let's clarify. Now, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands, and the Devil energy. Definitely feel here your wall is up. At one point you felt like you and this person had a very intense connection. For some reason, I feel like... You guys either trigger one another a lot from whatever you guys have went through in the past, or this is a karmic connection, and that's why you guys can't ever get on the same page. You guys can't ever see eye to eye, okay? Now, because you've gone through this with this particular person, it's made it hard to be open to new connections, to new experiences, because part of the challenge here, Scorpio, the Empress... The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, it's like you are protecting, you're guarding your heart, okay? You don't want to go through that experience again. You've learned the lesson that you needed to learn. So having the understanding that even if the same energy or situation was presented, you wouldn't have the same reaction because you've gone through this experience already. Now, there are going to be new experiences, new opportunities, new people that are going to come into your life. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like a romantic partnership. For some of you, it is. And I see this going two ways, okay? Some of you are open to new experiences and you're ready. Others of you are still closed off and protecting yourself from being hurt again. Having that awareness that that's what's going on is the key. 
And just looking like these people, that these new opportunities, these new experiences that come into your life, you don't have to make them your husband or wife. You can have a friendship with them, right? You can also use this opportunity as practice for the new phase that you're moving into. This summer, there's going to be somebody that you meet. And this person is going to be in perfect alignment with what it is that you want for your future, Scorpio. But you're not going to be able to see this person for who they truly are if you are still closed off. So try and be open to new connections, to new experiences, at least through the summer. So we're going to pull a few cards out for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So the Five of Swords, the Seven of Coins, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the world on the bottom of the deck. So even though you keep looking back, not necessarily looking back to see if this person is chasing, but I more feel like this is a looking back to compare, to make sure that this doesn't equal that. The world is telling me that the lesson has been learned, the message has been received, so you don't have to hold on to this so much. And part of that healing process, Scorpio, is learning how to let go, right? Is learning how to let go and to have that understanding that some things are meant to be in our life for a season and some for a lifetime. Only through the experience of life can we differentiate between the two? So your Archangel blessing message here, Scorpio, for your reading is Angel Therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to the angels and allow them to take your burdens. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this new moon energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, I just want to come on really quickly and let everybody know that I'm posting content on Patreon, on OnlyFans, and on the YouTube membership platform. It's going to be guided meditations. I'll do some sound healing and maybe even throw in some yoga videos. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome to join. The information will all be linked below in the description box. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.